Good afternoon and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. This is Kristen and today is day 22 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life and Scrap Timber with Laura Alberts and the Scrappy Sisters. This is our sketch and our um, prompt from the Scrappy Sisters and Laura Alberts is monochrome. And I have decided to use purple. Normally I do a um, live beginning to the video and then a voiceover for the remainder um, of the actual scrapbooking. But when I created this um, video, it was almost an hour long. And so I'm trying to not make it an hour long. <laughs> so here are my two video pictures. <sighs> Good gravy. Um, and the pictures are from Instagram. Screenshots from where I had posted two of my layouts. And my um, first favorite YouTuber, State Goddess, had commented and loved them. And I was over the moon and thought that was just fantastic. This was back in July and I had just started really scrapbooking and making videos and posting on Instagram. So I screenshot these pictures and there's two pictures per picture and I had to um, tape them together because they are um, a little bit longer than a four by six. They are four inches wide, but they're probably like seven and six and a half inches tall. So I wanted to document this because it was the first time someone um, outside of my circle had acknowledged my scrapbooking other than um, the my scrapbooking clan on scrapbooking with com. So I decided that I would use these for this monochrome layout. So there's two pictures in the sketch and what looks like a doily in the back, a couple of um, uh, embellishment spaces. And um, like I said, you're supposed to do monochrome. So I picked purple because purple is one of the colors that State Goddess talks about a lot. And has always said things about how there's not enough purple in scrapbooking. And I never noticed that. And now I really have. So I'm going through all of my stickers. And I only pulled the ones out that had some purple in them. Um, but I really wanted to keep this layout as close to all purple and shades of purple as possible. So I got different stickers from Crafter Square and Park Lanes. I got some gems from Park Lane. I pulled a couple of American Crafts. Some old stickers and embellishments that I had in my stash. Um, some dollar store ones. And like the only thing on that American Crafts is like a maroon. And I'm considering it. I haven't decided. And then that one right there is purple and blue. But it says something about crafting or creating. And I liked that. And then I got these um, little mini stars and hearts for the scattering. And then I picked out all of my purple alphas so I could use it for my title. And of course, her favorite thing is Disney. And there's some purple in the Disney stickers, so I wanted to go ahead and bring those in. And I have these little hands that um, I will also be bringing in. So I'm excited to take these pictures and this sketch and all this purple. And of course, I have to use mixed media because she mixed medias all the time. Uh, she is the reason that I started really getting into mixed media um, and expanding. And the only reason that I started with embossing powder, which this is my second embossing powder experience. And of course, some washi. So I took that purple um, pattern paper and I matted it on that dark purple background because um, that is in the sketch that there's a border. And then I mat this one picture that is of Animal Kingdom's trash cans, a uh, scrapbook page that I created, and I put it on animal purple animal print. And then this page, I used my two distress, uh, my distress oxide, and my shimmery uh, crushed grapes from Delusions, and sprayed it on that paper, and to just make it, um, just to give it some of the mixed media. 
um, and then I put foam on the back of this other one so that it would have some dimension and stand out a little bit from the other one since they were going to cross over a little I wanted there to be some definition there so I fiddled a long a long time trying to get these lined up uh, I cut a lot of that out you're welcome <laughs> And, um, so there's a doily and since I didn't have a doily that was purple, I cut Mickey ears out, uh, which I felt was super fitting as well, um, out of the same color that the background matted. And then I had traced the little hands, cut them out, and then I sprayed them with my shimmers crushed grapes and they are shiny shimmery I don't know if you can see that as well in the video I can't really tell for sure but uh, they are super shiny and I love them and I have them tucked in and curved up a little like they are holding these pictures and I love the way that turned out I mean this is the most purple I've ever put on a page but um so I am getting some washi laid down and this says live your best life and I thought that was fitting and then I pull another strip of washi and it is just a solid um, I lifted the page up because laying flat I couldn't really see what the washi said because it's a very similar color to the background paper but when you are looking head-on like if you were looking at it in a scrapbook um, it's in silver the letters are and you can see it fine so the next one is just a simple plain um, light colored purple and I just tuck it slightly under that picture where it's raised and take it straight across and clip it off. So um, I've so far used quite a few of the things that State Goddess uses in most of her, the videos that I have watched. Um, so now I'm trying to figure out embellishments. So the hands are the big part. I start by putting down these little Tinkerbell flowers and then I realized that I needed to put bigger stuff down first. So I set those aside and pick up some other things that I have that are purple um, and find homes for them. So this is like a little buckle and I have had that for a long, long time. I think it's recollections, but I could not tell you for sure. It's on, it wasn't in a package. So I just tucked it in. Um, I'm just looking for all the purple things that I can tuck in. I love these Crafters Corner and they're silver with some purple hues and some of them actually had good phrases but I just didn't really like anything that I was finding. So I get out my, this is also a Crafters Square, I keep calling it Crafters Corner, um, sticker sheet and pull out this girl power shaped like a heart and I love that, so I want to make sure it was tucked in over there, but also so you could see every part of that. And then I have this Recollections washi stickers, and they're, I think they're probably meant for planners, because like one of the stickers inside says, yeah, I don't have it all together, but at least my planner looks good or something. So I find some different things in here, some hearts, some tags, um and a piece of washi that I end up putting at the bottom of the um, the propped up um, picture and it says have the best day ever and I can tell you that I was super excited when I got saw this post and so <clears throat> uh, it was a good day it's a very good day so then I got the color study from Vicki Booten and got that little piece of washi tape looking piece at the top um, I was going to use the little clip but it didn't fit anywhere and I didn't want to cover any more of the ears the Mickey Mouse ears up at this time because I had plans for that spot so I get out these two little floral purple stickers from the Tinkerbell um, stickers and I tuck one in on the right and cut one in half and tuck it in by the hand on the bottom left and I'm just trying to add some texture and different shades of purple onto the page not necessarily um, wanting I mean for any purpose other than to give some more color texture and um I just wanted to make sure that there was 
um, there's a little yellow on these flowers and I'm okay with that because this picture is Pluto and of course Pluto is yellow, yellowy orange colored. So that's all right. And plus I tuck them in behind that hand and, um, so it's not as visible. So I get those tucked in and then I start pretty much scattering all the little this and that. So I got lots of flowers, some butterflies. These came, the butterflies came off of the Tinkerbell paper. I get all of those kind of laying around. They're purple. And I put some up on the ears and on the little end of the hand and things like that. And I love them. They're super cute. And um, the irony is, <laughs> Stay Goddess does not like butterflies. <laughs> so... Uh, and looking back, maybe I shouldn't have put those on there, <laughs> but they're purple and they came from Disney paper. So, um, so here is the one thing that I debated on using. It's also from Crafter Square. It is a little cork, well, it's not cork, it's like corrugated, um, and it says inspire and it has a purple button on it. And I debated whether I want to use it, but the because it said inspire and that was really something she has done has inspired me, I felt like I was just going to put that on there. Plus, it kind of brings your attention to it. Um, there's lots of color in those pictures, but um, I feel like it brings a little bit of attention up to that word. And because, like I said, she's inspired me to try a whole lot of new things, um, I felt like that was an appropriate thing to put up there. Now that is not my title. My title will come um, here in just a little while when I'm done putting all the little this and that's down. I'm using Park Lane gemstones and some Crafter Square. Um, they're not enamel dots. They're almost like a little puffy dot. Um, and I put those in different places. Um, all purple, of course. I've got little stars. I've got little hearts. Um... I'm looking at my page. I mean, it's full of little clusters and bits of stars. I put a couple of stars on either side, one that says you did it and one that says good job because I thought that it was fitting. Um, you just, I don't know. I thought that it was funny and I like putting the stars on there because that's one of my favorite things to um, embellish with. So I put lots of different colored stars from different collections and then when I got done with that, I wanted to use these two arrows that my friend Anne Marie sent me. She's got a little die, a little um, punch out cutter, and she sent me and a bunch of our my our scrappy friends these arrows. And both of my arrows are light colored, and one they won't stand out very well on the right side. And I wanted to point at State Goddess's comments on not that you can't see them, but it was kind of what I wanted to do. And so, kind of pointing out the point of why I have scrapbooked this page, or scrapbooked these pictures. So, I took my ink pad from Stamp Abilities and just inked up the light-colored arrow. Put the end of it on foam, since the arrow point, the point of the arrow would be up on foam already. And put that down so it would not be um, going up much more than it had to the foam. I use to put on the back of it might be a little bit different in the um, height of the foam that the picture is matted on, but not by too much. So I put that down and have it pointing over there to the um, what she said, <laughs> her response to my post. So um, I had considered reprinting this picture because I responded to her and I could have like screenshot that again, but um, it wasn't necessary for me to post what I had responded to her about. So I, um, so I get the arrow done and now I am mostly done. I've done a lot of scattering. I've done all the embellishing. Um, I've got everything on here for the most part except a title and some splatters. So I'm going to pull out my letters and I had pulled four, I think four different alphas. Oh no, I'm still doing the stars. Um, so I decided to use these alphas that I just sit down on the right and they are cut like a little stamp. Um, they are purple on purple. 
and I have every single one of them so I know what I'm going to write. I have everything I need. So I'm excited about that. I pulled some of these purple, it's like a deeper purple off of that sticker sheet. I use those a lot for my Star Wars stickers, but I didn't really need purple and pink too much, so I've still got lots of that. And I tuck uh, some of these darker purple stars all around because, you know, you just can't have too many stars or hearts on a page. So once I get all of those down, I am going to work on my title and it is going to be short and sweet. And it's going to happen any minute. Oh, I didn't want to put a whole lot up there at the top. Um, I wanted most of the focal point to be this big, huge, massive, crazy down on the bottom with the Mickey Mouse ears. But I did think that light space over to the left of the Inspire would be a good place to tuck. Um, just put a little cluster of three um, purple stars. So now I have my little letters. And I'm going to turn it to the side so that I can... I'm putting my ink pads away first. I try and clean up as I go. Oh, and now I'm making sure I'm still in... <laughs> you can see my shadow. I was making sure I was still in the picture. I don't want it to be out. So I start at the end with my letters because I know where it's going to end. And go from there. And I'm tucking the little um, stamp sides to next to each other because I don't necessarily want them to fit in each other in the groove of each stamp but I want them to be pretty close together because I don't want to take up too much space so it says fangirl I just couldn't tell from this video it's hard to see that from here um so I'm trying to decide by looking at the sketch what else I need to do to finish this off I mean it is super super busy However, you cannot get away without doing a little splattering. So these are my go-to covers. It's maps from Disney. <laughs> so uh, I cut parts of the map out when I scrapbook and use it for my pages. And these are the leftover bits. So I just use those to cover up my pictures. And I want to do a little splattering on the left and the right and a little in the top corners. Not a whole lot. And of course, it's purple. It is Distress Oxides by Ranger, um, Wilted Violet. So I just splatter a little bit of that down, turn that around, and take off my covers. And I'm looking at it, trying to figure out what, if I need anything else. So I'm cleaning up my mat, of course. Now, I would admit to the fact that I just wiped that up with a, a paper towel. And it had glue on it. Luckily, the glue got on my hand and not on my table. Because that would have been a mess. So, now, I one of her favorite things is embossing. And I've never done it. So, I decided that I would try it. So, before I even created the video, I used my Ranger embossing pen. And I wrote her name. her Well, her handle. And I used the purple... Um, embossing powder to pour on it and then of course shook it off and embossed it. Um, I would do that on camera but my little embossing gun is has the shortest cord ever <laughs> so it wouldn't reach my table. So I cut fussy cut around it um, not necessarily right around it but a fussy cut around it and then I put it up on foam and I put it up at the top so officially the title is Steak Goddess Fangirl. So I thought it was appropriate to put her name in um, the embossing powders because I know how much she likes them. <laughs> so I hope if she sees this, she does not think I am a crazy girl. Well, I'm a little off my rocker, but I'm not stalking her or anything crazy like that. <laughs> so I get that down up there to where the G comes down a little bit between the A and the N, but not enough to be a problem. You can still see the title perfectly well. And now I'm just looking at it, making sure I've got everything. And of course, there's nothing else going to fit on there. I've got it all and I'm super happy with it. And I'm going to show you some close-ups. I did washi the back where I cut that Mickey Mouse head out. So um, that is good to go. And that's it. So I hope you all have a great day. And a, I hope you got a chance to do something you love with someone you love. Happy scrapping.